Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Feed in the Snow, which is a horror game where you go through your nightmares and hopefully you make the right choices in them. I keep having this dream. Why don't you tell me about it? I'm in a forest at night. There's snow everywhere. There are footprints in the snow leading off into the distance. Do you follow them? Apparently I do. Yes, I follow them, but they keep going. I walk forward again and see something on the ground in the snow. Do you look at... Looks like I have choices here. Well, yeah, sure. Yes, I look at... It looks like a red scarf, but... What's wrong? It feels like flesh. I continue forward. Let's go right, because right is always right. I see a path to the right, but it's a dead end. It's technically right, because we were supposed to just go there and stay. It's symbolic for us not going forward, because forward's the death trap. Forward takes you into the horror game, see. I continue to follow the footprints. But notice a photo on the floor in the snow. Do you look at? It's gonna be an, oh god. It's gonna be an ending difference here. Yes, I look at. What is the photo of? It's me, but I have no face, only a giant eye. And it's moving. I continue forward. I keep continuing forward. Eventually I see a lamppost. The path is split. One way the footprints continue, the other is just a clear path. Which way do you go? Mm, right is always right. But sometimes right is on your left. In Wonderland that is. I look at the light instead. Sometimes I take the middle road. I look at the lamp. What's wrong? Are those fingers? There are fingers inside. My name is Yoshikage Kira. Um, Go left. I choose a path of no footprints. I see a house in the distance. Do you approach the house? Yes, I walk up to the house. Walk to the back, open front door. Look, I know something on the floor. What is it? It's a severed hand. This'll beat handy. It said the hand is a key. Open back door. I try to open the back door, but it's locked. I unlock the door and walk into the kitchen. Look at sink, look at pot. There's a knife in the sink, I take it. Hmm. I walk into the dining room. What do you see? A goth. A man sitting at the table. Do you approach him? Look at food. It's moving. Rude, not gonna eat any? You're a guest. I approach the man. He has no eyes and tongue. His right eye is missing. His left eye is missing. His tongue is missing. Living room. There's an eye in the bowl, and it's moving. I need something to dissolve the flesh. Huh. That was a very quick jump in logic. Look at plants. Oops. Well, 
actually not oops, there was nothing here. Look at table. Look at me, look at me like... This is the feel, right? You're just pixel hunting, like what, what, what can I click around here? Go living room. Go to hall. Go upstairs. Bedroom, bathroom, bedroom. Bathroom seems promising. Look at mirror. I look at the mirror in the bathroom. Is this the whole thing of like, oh, you don't have reflections in dreams? What's wrong? I don't have a face, or I can't see my face. Look in drawers. There's a ball of acid in the drawer. This would be useful to melt the flesh. I walk into a bedroom. Someone's taking a nap. What's wrong? It's... Flesh. I mean, I could cut open. Yeah, of course you can. There's an eye inside. I see. I guess we're getting like two eyes and a tongue. I see that happening right now. There's a locked box in the bed. There's a tongue inside. The eye came loose. Here you go, buddy. What happened? I'm on a road now, still covered in snow. I can see something in the distance. It looks like a car. I approach the car. Is anyone inside? A woman. I've been waiting for you. Well, someone. I'm glad you picked this path. The car needs fuel, and there's a gas station down the road. If you bring back some fuel, I'll get us out of here. I see a gas station up ahead. Look at pump, look at sign. Gas pump. It looks old, but it still works. Fuel cans for sale inside. Show me one of your finest fuel cans, sir. Ah. There are food items on the shelves. They feel empty, like my soul. Fuel can setter. I need your finest fuel cans. Hey there, let me guess. You want a fuel can? There's one left. If you can find my marble, I'll give it to you. Find your marble? Or do, do any of us have our marbles? Where would I begin to, like, find your marble? You see a marble? Oh, it's here. Yeah, it was outside the store. That looks like a materia. It's a marble. It's glowing. Do you pick it up? Yes. What was the official name of the purple materia? Like HP plus and all those? Green is magic materia. Red was summons. Yellow was command. Was it just support? Were they just called support materia? Here's your marbles. Perfect! 
Here, take this. You better get going. It's full. Great, let's go. Or is this gonna be one of those things where I have to replay it to go down the other path? I'm glad you chose this path so I can take you home. You know, I often find people wandering this road. I drive them all home. They all talk to me about their dreams. I don't know a lot about dreams, but someone told me once that if you see footprints in a dream, don't follow them. You'll be trapped in your dream forever. Oh. And then what happened? I woke up. All right, let's go down the other route. Follow the footsteps. I follow the footprints. There's an elevator in the middle of a frozen lake. Do you use the elevator? I walk into the elevator. It's like hell is frozen over. The elevator takes me down to a concrete hallway. The footprints continue to a door at the far end. Interesting place. Different chemicals. It's a ball of oil. It's a fish. It's a fish. It looks like a lamb. It hurts my head to look at. There's a fish on the table. What's wrong? It's been cut open, but it's still alive. Something is missing. It's life. Surgical items. It's locked. There's a tiny heart in the sink. That would be useful. Uh, not ironically. Test tubes. Different chemicals. Be free! There was a valve on the ground. What is the point of looking at these? A person. Speaking of Final Fantasy VII, because I brought materia, when I started looking at these, I'm like, oh, look, it's like that scene in the Mako reactor. About the jump scare. Spoilers. All right. Next floor. I'm not sure what they're saying about this being stuck in a dream. This seems so bad. I walk through a rusted tunnel until I see a light. What do you see? Oh man, I'm seeing some like... Something Actually no, okay. So I'm gonna, this could be a very specific reference. So, there's a old adventure horror game very surreal, called Quoloon's Gate, I think, or something like that. And then there's a... arcade. It might be closed down by now. I know quite a few arcades closed down in Japan during the lockdowns. Um, that I'm not sure if it was modeled after that game, 
but it had a very similar vibe. It was also called like Quolun or something like that. Um, and the fact this is kind of like contained in a building and it has a vibe makes you think of that arcade area. Because that arcade also had like almost like you're entering the gates of hell before you came in and they built like a little mini fake city in there like this. It's an alley of shop fronts lit up by lanterns. Do you still see footprints? Yes. Hi. You ordering something? Um... I'm not sure, actually. Some fine meats you got here, sir. Is he anything like? Yeah, I do. There's no one here but locked boxes on the counter. Well, I don't have a key. I need to get out of here. Chose the footprints, huh? I mean, on my second round. You seem different. There's a big rusted door at the end of the alley. Yeah, I think the door to the um, arcade was like this, actually. I could be wrong. I could just be, like, mixing memories. Did I just hear you talking to yourself? You must be new here. No, I'm just a Let's Player. A vending machine requires coins. I saw one of the shop owners restock this vending machine earlier. Can you buy me a drink? I need money for that. There's no visible way of opening the door. I find myself a key and I need to find myself some money. You want to go through the big door? I can open it for you. You can find a token and bring it to me. Bring me the token when you find it and open the door. I haven't seen any tokens. I don't sell tokens. Do you sell tokens? A token? I haven't seen one, but if you're handing out favors... One of the other shop owners stole something from me. I'm convinced he's locked in that stupid box of his. If you can find the key and unlock the box, I'll give you something in return. None of these. It's gotta be this one here. No. This one. There's a key inside. It was literally the last one I checked. Wait. Did I see something? It's an eye. We got a lot of eyes in this universe, don't we? You and I. Perfect, I knew you'd taken it. Here, take these. Mmm, money. A can of drink came out. Thanks. Oh, there's a finger in the drink. You can have it. I only want the drink. You're lost. That finger's worth more than that drink. You don't want any fingers? Selling a good finger here.
I well taught. Just what I needed. You know, I saw that guy, you know. One just over there. He's crouched down, smoking. I saw him pick up a token off the floor. Oh uh, yeah, I found something that looked like a big coin on the floor. Bought some cigarettes from one of the shops with it. Alright, that guy did buy cigarettes from me with that token. The guy wants so badly to get out of here, but use the only thing that'll get him out of the free cigarettes. And now I bet you're waiting for me to tell you to get something for me so I can give you the token. And all you have to do is ask me. So here it is. Good luck. Oh. Okay. Here. You people are alright. Don't think I'll be seeing you again. Oh man, I like those. I like that style of cutscene. That's old school. Where are you now? On Mountain Trail. It's snowing again and the wind is strong. Do you climb the mountain? Yes, I get to you on the mountain trail. This all looks very familiar. I'm at the top. I can see floating rocks over the edge. Do you step over the edge? Yes. Live and learn. Yes, I step onto a floating rock. Hop. Hop. Hop across each floating rock. That way I can click the flag. Now that you know their feet. There's something on the last rock. What is it? It's feet. They've been leaving the footprints. There's nothing. No path back. And then what? And the game just ended. Literally. So, that's it for Feet in the Snow. Um, quite literally, Feet in the Snow. <laughs> it's going on the one ending. I like this a lot. It, it was really, um... It actually was kind of like, uh... Those old... Horror adventure games and stuff like that with the uh, pre-rendered graphics. So... The human models obviously look kind of cheap and old school, right? But it added like a surreal nature to it. I'm not sure if that's the in I think that's the intent. They all look very surreal and like doll-like. It makes everything kind of a little more creepy in like an unsettling way. It did have like a nightmare feel. But overall, I think it did a good job of just... It's a little eerie. It's kind of dreamlike. Uh, it's very adventure gamey in a good way. And you've got the... You really, they got the, the pre-rendered look kind of going down. I don't think it's actually pre-rendered. It's, I think it's just using models and putting some filters on it or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is pre-rendered and they just put filters on top of the pre-render to match that old look. So from that, can't really say much. Uh, you, we are welcome to put interpretations to it. Although I, I think the primary goal was the dreamlike nightmare nature because they had like a lot of the little like, tells like, oh, if you look at the mirror, your face is gonna be missing or stuff like that. Now, do you actually get stuck in a forever loop if you go down the, the path ending? I think that's debatable. Although it has that cold cutoff ending. But that also can be taken as like, oh, you wake up from your nightmare. Right? But yeah, overall, cool nostalgic vibe. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Feed in the Snow. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.